Yeah, you also can manually key in the items. Let's say for uh, I open these bills, I double click, and then at the first level, actually you can key in the elements or traits. You press enter, you can key in. Let's say elements one, okay, elements two, okay, and then when you double click, let's say you want to key in the item description for element one, you just double click. And then you can just uh, key in here. Let's say you have a heading, you can just key, type your heading here. And then the type here you need to select, okay, item or a uh, head. Okay, so under this heading you have an item. Okay, let's say item one. And then let's say this item is belong to this heading. Okay, so you can click at this item, in then. Okay, so we'll move. You can see from from here. And then you can put the units. Okay, let's say meter cube, you can just type meter cube and then the system will auto select. And then the quantity, you can just type the quantity here. Okay, and then if you want to do the measurement, actually you can double click. You can do your measurement also. Here is something something like Excel take, uh, or taking on paper. Okay, you can put any refer to drawing. Okay, so you can put the length with depth here. Let's say 12 plus 4, you can key the formula. Okay, or you can just direct type. If you key formula, you can see the pink color. Okay, so when you go back a level, so you can see the quantity in blue color. The blue color that means you will have the measurement inside. Okay, so here you can continue to type the item. Let's say you got the tender from the hard copy, you can also type. Okay, normally you type in Excel, but you can type in, okay, in the view space as well. Okay, yeah. So this is how to manually key in. Okay.